Hey guys, it's Deb Joyce Meek from Delight of My Art and I have another alternate paper pumpkin project for you today. So this time I am talking about the May uh, 2017 Sprinkled with Love Donut Kit. So here's what it looks like. So I did make one of the regular projects, this one that I made. Uh, Donut Forget, I Love You a Whole Bunch. Looks pretty much like the um, one in the picture here except I added a few more flowers. So that's what that one looks like. I really like the shimmery dots that came in this one and the the stamps are really fun too. So we're going to do a different project with that today and I'm going to put it together. I haven't put it together yet so let's see how it goes. Let's get stamping. Okay so here are the things that we're going to be using from the kit. We're going to be using the soft suede ink, although I'm, be, I'm going to be using my bigger one because I have one. Uh, we're going to be using this gorgeous uh, gold twine um, thread and then we're going to be using some of these pearls. We're going to be using a piece of the bag, one of the white banners. What I'm also going to be using is the uh, a piece of powder pink cardstock to make a card and we're going to have it open this way instead of this way. And I'm going to be stamping on that. Get this out of the way. And then we're going to cut a four inch piece of burlap ribbon. So that comes on a roll like this. That is in the catalog. Love this stuff. It's so cool. I'm going to be using one uh, delicate white doily. And those come in a pack of 24. And then we're going to be using some mini glue dots as well and we're also going to be using one of the stamps from the it's a Sarah thing paper pumpkin kit this one was from last month in April so these are the dots that are sprinkled behind some of the flowers here so I'm going to be just kind of sprinkling these across the bag or across the card rather right here so I already cut a two inch strip of this bag and I wanted some of this zigzag uh, part that's on the top of the bag here like this so I just cut the sides off the bag opened it up and then cut a two inch strip and it's uh, about four inches tall maybe just over so when we have it on the front of our card it leaves a little space right like this so this is kind of how it's gonna go together I kind of played around with this to see how it would look and I think it will look good so <laughs> we'll just go ahead and put it together and see so I'm going to put the doily behind, mostly having it stick out this way, but a little bit from that way. We're going to have um, a little bit of background stamping kind of sprinkled this way. We're going to put our burlap ribbon like this, and then put our sentiment thankful for you right there. And then maybe have a gold bow uh, somewhere on here. So let's play around with this and then maybe sprinkle some of these pearls. Um, throughout. So let's put this together and see how it goes. I'm just playing around because this is fun. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take my soft suede ink and take my dots from the Sarah Thing kit and I need my scrap paper. So I'm going to use my Stampin' Pierce mat again uh, and my scratch paper. Get my soft suede ink here. I'm going to stamp off because I don't want this to be so bold. So I'm going to stamp it off on the mat here and then nice and subtle. I'm just going to have it sprinkle diagonally across the card. I'm going to turn it a little bit. So I don't get the dots in the same spot. Sprinkled throughout. Let's see. That'll probably be covered up anyway. I don't know why I'm stamping off my stamp off. <laughs> okay. One more, I think. Okay, 
I think that will look good. And then we're going to take the little flower. Um, let's see, where's the kit here? I don't know if you can tell. Oh, I've stamped it on one of these in the kit already. This little shape right here, the center flowery piece um, with the circle inside, I'm going to take that stamp and then stamp that in the powder pink ink and sprinkle that across this same pattern here. I don't need to stamp this one off. It's already going to be subtle because it's the same color as the cardstock here. So I'm going to close this ink right now for now. I'm going to need that again for the sentiment, but... We'll just do this first. So we'll just pop some of these in here. Nice and quick. Super easy. I think that looks good. So now we can, I think we're ready to glue these things on. See, that looks nice. I think that looks good. Let's do the thankful for you stamp for now. Got that on a block already. Thankful for you, and that's just going to go on this white banner. I just noticed that these blue banners are white on the back, so if you wanted more white ones, you can just use the back of the blue. That's nice. Nice to know. Get right in the center there. Okay. And then we're going to put that together like this. Let's get this out of the way. We don't need this right now. And we don't need this anymore. Okay, so let's get our fast fuse out for the burlap ribbon and I'm just going to use the snail for these other thinner things. So this doily I kind of want in the middle of the card but very close to this left edge right here. So I'm just going to put maybe a couple strips on that. Okay, and then a couple strips on this too. Oops, oops. Okay, so this I want right towards the top of the card here. I do want it mostly to the left here. Okay. So you can still see the background right here and it's still sprinkling throughout over here. This is kind of twisty, so this is why I'm going to use the fast fuse for this thing. I could use tear and tape as well. put this on dimensionals? Why not? Let's see, where are my kit's dimensionals? I didn't think about that part yet. There they are. It's so nice these kits come with dimensionals already. So, I actually stamped on the back already because I was testing out how this would look. <laughs> okay, right down the middle because I want it not to be weird on the edge of the burlap ribbon, so this will be good. Okay, so right like that. And now we can put some pearls on here and use some of this gold thread. Let's clear our space here. Oh, we want the pearls. Come back here, pearls. All right, we're going to put this on a glue dot. 
I like to take these off with my scissors. Where's the next one? There it is. I'm going to curl that up just a little bit so it's a little bit smaller. Stick my bow on there. The tails on this might be a little long, but I can always trim it if I need to. Alright, so where do we want to put this? I have not decided this yet. Maybe over here, maybe up here. Let's see. I think... I think maybe right here. Why not? Okay, so this one's kind of curling around there anyway. That looks nice. And now we're going to put some of the pearls on and then we'll be done. If I can figure out how to open this cute little package. Oh, there it is. Okay, so there's a little flap right here. Let's stick a couple on the background here. Can you see what I'm doing here? I'm going to stick some randomly throughout over here. These are cute and small. Let's see. Oops. Small to handle too. That's why I'm doing them with the tip of my scissors. Now it's stuck to the table. Just a second. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put one over here on the sentiment too. So it kind of continues through the whole project. Kind of ties it all together. Do we need any more? It's always fun to put more pearls on. Let's put another one. Okay. I think that looks nice. What do you think? So there's my alternate paper pumpkin project. Here's the one from the kit. And um, let me know what you think. Have a great day, guys. Bye.